All right, guys, uh, back again with another group we group match. This time between me, um, obviously Larry GT and Vincent Crazy Fox. Um, for the group v group between Central and Squad, um, both links are in the description. I mean, make sure to join them. Great competitive content and other mod related content. Um, before anything, I mean, drop a like if you haven't already, and subscribe if you haven't already, and also comment down below who you think won this match before that would kind of like get some early predictions and come back to it after you finish and let's see if you're right so um since this is me i mean i can basically kind of tell you my mindset of it and i mean i might contradict some of the things i actually did because i mean just bad play and stuff like that but i'll try to give you guys some insight that i mean will help you along the way if you're trying to like get competitive and like smoking singles but um i brought this team with um I think this was Combine Ladio, Ladios, um, Specs, uh, Kirim, Celestilla, Swampert, Clef, and Urshifu. And Vincent brought, I mean, Rain Team with Zapdos, Pelipper, uh, Seismitoad, Kingdra, Ferrothorn, and Magirna. So let's go ahead and start. Speed slow, music off. So I led with Ladios because, I mean... I felt like that just pressured everything immediately because I ex honestly expected Pelipper. So I combined here just because I knew that like I'd be able to hit something. And I go for Mystical Fire only because I kind of expected him to maybe go into Magirna or back into Pharaoh. Even though, I mean, yeah, obviously the rain's up and reduces it. I kind of like it, it was honestly the more I think about it, it's kind of a bad play to do. So he gets knock off and goes knocks off the Swampert's leftovers. And this Swampert actually has uh, Yawn. So he goes into his Pelipper. I get rocks up here. He goes for a defog. I mean, no reason not to. I click Yawn. I mean, basically to try to force him out or anything else. And. He goes into his Ferrothorn here. I click flip turn. Not the best choices because Ferrothorn was in the back and that's the obvious switch in. I go Urshifu here just because, I mean, nothing really wants to take a Wicked Blow. But I decided to double into Kirim because I kind of expected him to possibly go into either Zapdos or Pelper. But he stayed in. So that kind of, that definitely threw me off. So I go back into Cub Fu. Which still, again, probably was not the best move ever. He goes for Jar Ball. And now he goes Pelipper. I click Wicked Blow. I mean, definitely that is damage you don't want to take. He goes Feral here. And I take damage due to the Iron Barbs. And I believe this Urshifu... Yeah, I think it's Bandit or it might be um be Black Glasses. I can't remember. He goes for Elite Seed on my um, Swampert on the Switch. I click Yawn again just to kind of force it out when, honestly, I could have just went for Rocks straight up, which I should have done. He goes into Zapdos here. Now I get Rocks up. I should have got the Yawn off on the Zapdos here on the Switch out. goes to Celestilla I mean this is obviously like a offensive Zapdos for rain so I kind of I'm having to pivot around a bit so I get lucky with the hurricane hit I go Swampert I get lucky with the thunder and I think I I believe I doubled back into Kirim because Kirim could take any any hit basically yep so I go weather ball here and I mean, pretty much, I just clicked Ice Beam at this point, I think. He goes Pelipper, which was not the best switch in at all. Because Pelipper kind of just does not want to switch into any move from Kirim at all. I don't know what he was expecting me to do, but that definitely cripples his reign tremendously. And he goes Magirna here, which, I mean, like I said, isn't the best switch in. And I go Swampert, just because I know he was going to shift gear. And if it's shift gear, I mean... Yeah, that's not killing me, and neither would a Aura Spear if it had it. So I go for Yawn, I mean, to basically force out the Magirna. 
he goes into Kingdra here and Kingdra is really a threat. I mean, I kind of expected it to be Scarf. I mean, not Scarf, uh, Specs. So I stayed in with Swampert and because I kind of was like, okay, I'm going to scout it out. I could have honestly went into Clef, but I kind of need Clef a little bit. And I go Clef, he actually wasn't Scarf. And I mean, I clicked Softwell because like I said, I was expecting it to be Specs. So at this point, what I should have done, honestly, I should have just kept pressing um, pressing soft world and waiting for the rain to be gone. That way Zapdos loses more offensive pressure and also the Seismitoad. And it also lets me clear up the rain easier. So he lands a hurricane, kills me. And that's that's what I mean by I should have just kept like clicking soft world. I don't know what his Kanger was running, but I mean, definitely that was the mistake I made. He goes Latios here. I mean, La I go Latios. He stays in. He lands the Hurricane. Luckily, I don't get confused. And I mean, I just click Dragon Pulse because I mean, there's no reason to click anything else. He goes to Magirna. And I click Mystical Fire. And he's unfortunately weakness policy. And he goes Shift Gear here, which I mean, really sucks for me. Gets the Drain Kiss off, gets a good 20% back of health, so now he's sitting at 48%, and I don't have a Scarfer. However, Celestilla can handle Magirna, so I go for Protect just to kind of scout, and yeah, he's, lo and behold, he has Aura Spear, and because he's Aura Spear, Drain Kiss, he can't really touch Celestilla too well. So on the, I go for Elite Seed just to kind of whittle him down residually, just in case. I go for protect again, like I said, just to get some more residual damage. He clicks calm mind, but I mean, as you saw, Earth Spill did 36%. And like I said, I'm just trying to make sure he's in perfect range of the uh, the heavy slam, which he is. So heavy slam kills. I get the spadef boost. He goes Feral Thorn here, and I outright I go straight for flamethrower. He goes Leech Seed here. And that takes a lot of my health. And I go Flamethrower there. What I honestly should have done was I should have pressed Leech Seed that very first turn to Ferrothorn. And so I go Kyrim here. I get my, um, my choice specs knocked off. So now I know that like I can basically freeze dry will kill Seismitoad. And I know that now Celestilla or uh, Urshifu can kill the um, the Ferrothorn. But Ice Beam kills regardless. So GG's. I won game one. And here comes game two. And game two I had Volcarona, Dragapult, um, Garchomp, Ferrothorn, Tapu Koko. I mean Tapu Fini and Zapdos Galar, and he brought, I mean, the same team we saw earlier, it's just, now it's Kartana instead of Rillaboom, and so music slow, I mean, music off, speed slow, I keep getting the thing backwards, alright, so let's go ahead and start it, alright, so he lets Clef, and I lead Garchomp, I mean, I talk to the Clef, because I know that the team is running, um, unaware Clef, And I go into my Ferrothorn here. He gets up free rocks. And I mean, I'm about to get up free rocks myself, I believe. He goes Moltres. I go for knockoff instead of rocks. And the thing is, like, I know that this Exadrill is um, Focus Ash. So me getting up rocks would have been, like, very important. So he goes uh, Kartana. And I'm Top of Fini. And... My switch in is honestly Garchomp. However, he Swords Dance, which makes it so much harder because, I mean, he outspeeds Garchomp and just would kill automatically due to that ridiculously high attack. He kills. I mean, I get the little drops, but now he's at plus. <laughs> yeah, you see 2.5, which, I mean, sucks for me. I go Dragapult here. And he goes into T-Tar, which, I mean, T-Tar just kind of puts in work against this team a bit. 
teeth are really seeing like how good it actually is especially like in this bacteria me meta how good it is becoming again so i go tap with Feeny on this uh titar he doubles out in jerk result predicting me to switch out and i mean now i mean it just picks up a kill i stayed in when honestly i should have went into ferrothorn so that is a big choke on me because the thing is i expected him to go for um fire blast predicting the ferrothorn so i should have went with the safest play instead of trying to gamble there and again i should have got rocks up here instead of going for knockoff because i mean residual damage is residual damage and forcing defogs helps me out as well so motris gets rid of my ferrothorn i go into Volk here and i mean this is another reason why i mean having a uh, what's it called rocks up helps because he goes into his exit drill Ace drill is focus sashed. I get land the fiery the fiery dance, but I mean I don't think there's a chance for burn with that attack. And he kills me with rock slide. So now I'm down to just two mons, neither of which can really do much. So I go Zapdos Galar here. U turn. When honestly I should have went for I think he might have been choice bandit because I would need something to break down the Titar that's inevitably coming in. I go back into Zapdos Galar, and I mean, it's pretty much over for me a bit. Ice Beam, I mean, that does a chunk of damage to Zapdos, and I can't really just spam attacks because Moltres is in the back. And this is why I should have gotten up rocks earlier, because like I said, it will basically force a defog and get rocks from my side. Because his team is so dependent on having rocks gone. I mean, it's pretty much GG for me here because, I mean, Dragapult can't touch T-Tar at all. He gets Dark Pulse off, and that is game two. So it's now 1-1 one, one tied up. One point for me and one point for Vincent. And here comes game three. He brought the exact same team, and I brought Zapdos, Spectre, Urshifu, Magirna, Hippo, and Toxapex. So speed slow, music off, and let's get started. So he led Cartana and I led with Toxapex. Cartana can't really do much to Toxapex at all, but I mean, I go into my Zapdos here just because, I mean, if he did go swinging, I risk the paralysis. He knocks off the boots. I mean, sucks for me, but I mean, I have Heat Wave, so I kill the Cartana outright. If I would have missed, I think that might have been game right there. He goes T-Tar and... I roost up, kind of expecting a, an aggressive play from him and like doubling out. So he goes Clef here, and all I really had to do is just go Pex. I mean, easy free rocks for him. And for me, I think I I think I have Toxic on this Toxapex, and I think I just go for Toxic on the T Tar. Yep, and I Toxic the T Tar. I mean, put him on a timer. That was my whole mindset, and I was just gonna try to for a little bit, just like try to stall him out. Just to wear him down. He had earth power though. And I recover here. Get back to full health. He goes Dracozo, which I mean definitely was something I'm kind of scared of a bit. Because <laughs> Dracozo actually is a pretty good wall breaker. So he doubles into Titar. I don't know what he was expecting me to go to because I still have Hippo. And Hippo gets up, I mean, free rocks on the T-Tar. And like I said, I got the Toxic Tyranitar. And so, I mean, now I have a Toxic on the Dracozote. So, I mean, the easy switch in for me here is to go into Hippo. Just because, I mean, that's that's the safest thing for me. He lands an Outrage, which does a lot of damage. Like, a lot. Like, Hippo kind of... Hippo really does put in work against this team a bit. So, I go Magirna here because I know that'll scare him out. 
because I mean, obviously outrage and he's locked in. He can't touch me. And I believe, I think this is double dance Magirna, possibly. He goes Moltres here. I go for Aura Sphere just because I was like, I'm going to get damage on something just in case he try to reset the sand. So I go Pex. He goes U-turn, get the momentum back. And I believe he went into his T-Tar again just to reset the sand. Goes into Drill here. I mean, I kind of expected him to switch out to something, so I just click Scald. I go into Zapdos here just because, I mean, to sponge up an Earthquake, but he SDs. I'm trying to remember how I got past this. He Iron Hit it here, killed the Zapdos. I go into my Urshifu, and I think I tried to bluff the Sucker Punch to force him out. And oh yeah, I did have a Sucker Punch, so okay, yeah, that's good. He goes Tox, I go Toxapex here. He clicks Roost, and he clicks U-Turn on the Pex, and I believe, yeah, he goes back to T-Tar here. I click Scald. I mean, I'm just trying to get rid of this T-Tar. It's going to take a while, but I mean, him being gone is him being gone. That's how I see it. So now it's a pretty much a, I have to recover here. But I go Hippo. But I mean, I'm regenerating, so I'm not really too worried. So he goes into his drill, and I'm at 45%. And here, I click Slack off just because I know that, like, I can get off another EQ if I want to. And that, I mean, Toxic Hippo really, his team struggles with. And like I said, I know that this Clef is unaware, so I can just pop it with a Toxic. But instead, he goes T-Tar again. I go Pex. I mean, T-Tar is pretty much like on like its last leg a bit. I go back to Hippo on the Dracozolt. And like I said, Dracozolt is poison and it's still taking Sandstorm damage, which is, I mean, great for me. He goes Moltres. I go for Slack Off and I believe I click like, um, I click um, Toxic here. And I no, I get rocks, free rocks. And I can click toxic here and just like bop the cliff. Or I mean he switches to Moltres because I mean I forced the defog. I don't know why I didn't click toxic there when I really should have. I go back to Toxapex, he forces the defog here, and I believe I go for Toxic with Toxapex. Yep. Just to whittle down the Moltres. He goes T-Tar again. I mean, I recover just to try and like, because I know T-Tar is dying this turn. And that's a dead T-Tar there. And now he goes to Drill. I mean, he pretty much like has to go to Drill. I go Hippo here. He SDs. But the thing is like, I know I need either Toxapex or Hippo to win the game. He goes for Iron Head to hopefully try and flinch me, but I land the e I don't get flinched and I get the EQ off. So now that's gone and he goes Drake was out here again. And I'm kind of in a tough spot. So I go Pex here. And he goes for EQ, which I mean does a solid amount of damage. And I kind of made a couple of misplays here. When I went hippo, I honestly could have went into something else just to make sure the hippo is still alive because if I can manage to have hippo if I got hippo in cleanly I could have just hit slack off and then just whittle down Draco's oat and I just win the game via basically everything being toxic so I go specs here here and I believe I'm scarf or I might be specs here I'm not too sure I go for hex on the cliff which I mean it's not a two hit KO so I switch out I go into my toxapex 
He goes for Moonblast here and goes back into his Moltres. And I think I clicked Recover. No, I, I pivoted out into Magirna. And Magirna, I think I just, again, I just fired off a um, move. He doesn't switch out and he, say, he goes for Flamethrower, which burns me. So that was definitely, definitely... It hurt me a whole lot when that happened. So I go for Poison Jab just to get off some kind of damage. He roosts. Like, that burn definitely hurt me a whole lot. So I get the Poison Jab off. He clicks U-Turn. I mean, Urshifu just pretty much just dies here in front of Clef. Oh, no, it didn't die. It actually survived. So I go for Poison Jab again. And I mean, just to get damage, he soft worlds up. I mean, now Urchifu dies. He goes Pex. And I get off the Toxic, but I mean, it's already Toxic, so it doesn't really matter. And at this point, I'm just kind of, I'm just firing off Roost. I, I mean, Scalds, I believe. Just because, I mean... The damage will rack up eventually. How many skulls did I have left? I had 20 left. So, Moltres dies there. I mean, his logical switch in is to go into Dracozolt. And Dracozolt basically has two turns left. I go into Magirna and I sack my Magirna. Bolt Beat just kills it outright. No, actually, Dracozo has two more turns in, unless he stays in. So he goes into Clef here. I go for Shadow Ball, which really doesn't do anything. And I go Shadow Ball again because I knew he would expect me to go into my um, Toxapex. He could have won if I would have doubled out. And he goes Clef again here. And I mean, Pex just kind of wins the game at this point. He gets the, I mean, the special attack drop, which doesn't really hurt me too much, but I go for Shadow Bug in. It kills. Crit didn't really matter, I don't think, but I mean, definitely, I won 2-1, two, two points for Central and one point for Squirrel Squad. Um, Definitely, let me know what you thought about the battle, if your predictions are right, and I mean, as always, have a good day.